What does this red and white sign signify? A. Entry from your direction is prohibited. B. Stop, then proceed with caution. C. The road ahead is closed for all directions of traffic. Answer A. Entry from your direction is prohibited. This question came in November 2022 exam. What should you do if a vehicle behind you disappears from your rearview mirror while you're preparing to change lanes? A. Double check over your shoulder to ensure the vehicle isn't in your blind spot. B. Activate your turn signal and gradually change lanes. C. Look in your side mirror to see if the vehicle is in your blind spot. Answer A. Double check over your shoulder to ensure the vehicle isn't in your blind spot. When is it acceptable for children under the age of 8 in your vehicle to not use a child passenger restraint system? A. If they refuse to use the child passenger restraint system. B. When a child passenger restraint system is unavailable. C. When they are 4 feet 9 inches tall or taller and are secured by a safety belt. Answer. C. When they are 4 feet 9 inches tall or taller and are secured by a safety belt. If a driver appears to be about to pull out in front of you, what is the safest course of action? A. Sound your horn and maintain your current speed. B. Decelerate or halt your vehicle and honk your horn. C. Honk your horn and veer into the adjacent lane. Answer. B. Decelerate or halt your vehicle and honk your horn. This question came in January 2023. What is accurate about the relationship between seat belts and vehicular collisions? A. They are not required if your vehicle is outfitted with front and side airbags. B. They hinder you from being ejected safely, thereby reducing your chances of surviving collisions. C. They improve your odds of survival in most types of crashes. Answer. C. They improve your odds of survival in most types of crashes. This question is repeated multiple times. What is the legal status of smoking inside a vehicle with a passenger under 18 years of age? A. It's legal if your age is 21 or older. B. It's illegal under all circumstances. C. There are no legal restrictions. Answer. B. It's illegal under all circumstances. Smoking is prohibited in all state-owned passenger mobile equipment which include light and heavy-duty trucks, cargo and passenger vans, buses, and any other mobile equipment with an enclosed driver or passenger compartment. Where is it legal to make a U-turn? A. Across a double yellow line. B. At least 150 feet away from a hill or curve. C. Over two sets of double, yellow lines in the road. Answer. A. Across a double yellow line. What should you do during the last 100 feet before turning at an intersection? A. Refrain from signaling if you are in a designated turn lane. B. Avoid signaling if your turn is protected by a green arrow. C. Continue to signal even if there are no other vehicles in sight. Answer. C. Continue to signal even if there are no other vehicles in sight. What is the correct behavior when driving near road work zones? A. Slow down to observe the work as you drive by. B. Reduce your following distance. C. Traverse the work zone with caution and minimize distractions. Answer, C. Traverse the work zone with caution and minimize distractions. What is the appropriate action if you have five or more vehicles tailing you on a narrow two-lane road? A. Shift to the right side of your lane and reduce speed. B. Utilize turnout areas or lanes to allow them to overtake. C. Maintain your speed as you have the right-of-way.
Answer B. Utilize turnout areas or lanes to allow them to overtake. This is a tricky question and came in a recent exam. What should you do when approaching an intersection with no stop sign or signals? A. Always stop before proceeding through the intersection. B. Yield the right of way to all other vehicles. C. Slow down and prepare to stop if required. Answer C. Slow down and prepare to stop if required. If you're nearing a sharp curve on the road, what should you do? A. Begin braking before entering the curve. B. Start braking the moment you enter the curve. C. Speed up as you go into the curve. Answer A. Begin braking before entering the curve. If your cell phone rings while you're driving and you don't have a hands-free device, what is the best course of action? A. Answer the call as it might be urgent. B. Allow the call to go to voicemail. C. Answer the call if there is no vehicle on the road. Answer B. Allow the call to go to voicemail. Here is another tricky question. When parking your vehicle at the curb on a level two-way street, what should you do before exiting your vehicle? A. Look for cars or bicycles on the traffic side of your vehicle. B. Angle your front wheels towards the curb. C. Ensure you are parked two feet away from the curb. Answer A. Look for cars or bicycles on the traffic side of your vehicle. If you're approaching a curve or the crest of a hill and your view of the road ahead is obstructed, what should you do? A. Pull over and wait for the conditions to improve. B. Use your high beam lights to improve visibility. C. Reduce speed to ensure you can stop if needed. Answer. C. Reduce speed to ensure you can stop if needed. This question came in November 2022. You're stopped at an intersection and the traffic light just turned green. Should you proceed immediately? A. Yes, but give way to any vehicle or pedestrian still in the intersection. B. Yes, or you risk getting a ticket for causing gridlock. C. No, you must wait three seconds, as a rule, before moving forward. Answer A. Yes, but give way to any vehicle or pedestrian still in the intersection. What does this yellow sign signify? A. The one-way road expands into two lanes ahead. B. Vehicles on this road travel in both directions. C. A divided highway is coming up. Answer. B. Vehicles on this road travel in both directions. This question came in January 2023. You're driving 55 miles per hour on a two-lane highway, with one lane in each direction, and wish to overtake the vehicle ahead. To do so safely, you need to a. Wait until solid double yellow lines divide the lanes. b. Increase your speed to at least 60 miles per hour. c. Ensure there's a sufficient gap in the oncoming traffic. Answer. c. Ensure there's a sufficient gap in the oncoming traffic. What does this yellow sign indicate? a. There's a pedestrian sidewalk ahead. b. Pedestrians need to yield the right of way ahead. C. A pedestrian crossing is up ahead. Answer. C. A pedestrian crossing is up ahead. You're driving at night on a dimly lit street with high beams on. You should dim your lights when you're within 500 feet of A. A vehicle approaching from behind. B. An oncoming vehicle. C. A sharp curve or hill. Answer. B. An oncoming vehicle. It's best to allow extra space in front of your vehicle when you're following a. A. Passenger vehicle. 
B. Station wagon. C. Large tour bus. Answer, C. Large tour bus. You're required to notify law enforcement and submit a report of traffic accident occurring in California, SR1, to the DMV if A. Your vehicle breaks down on the freeway. B. You're involved in a collision that results in death. C. You switch your insurance provider. Answer. B. You're involved in a collision that results in death. Next two questions came in the recent exam. If you're crossing an intersection and an emergency vehicle with a siren and flashing lights approaches, you should A. Immediately stop in the intersection until it passes. B. Pull to the right in the intersection and stop. C. Continue through the intersection, pull to the right, and then stop. Answer, C. Continue through the intersection, pull to the right, and then stop. When sharing the road with a light rail vehicle. A. You should never turn in front of an approaching light rail vehicle. B. Always pass a light rail vehicle slowly on its right side. C. Keep in mind that they're loud and move slowly like freight trains. Answer, A. You should never turn in front of an approaching light rail vehicle. If you're towing another vehicle or trailer on a freeway with four lanes going in your direction, you may travel in. A. Any traffic lane going your direction. B. Either of the two rightmost lanes. C. Only the far right lane. Answer, B. Either of the two rightmost lanes. Even if your vehicle can handle a sharp curve at the legal speed limit, you should still slow down because A. You're legally required to drive below the speed limit on sharp curves. B. The strong inward pull on your vehicle could be dangerous. C. There might be a stalled vehicle or accident ahead that you can't see. Answer. C. There might be a stalled vehicle or accident ahead that you can't see. Who has the right-of-way at intersections without crosswalks? A. Pedestrians, always. B. Vehicles, but they should slow down and be careful. C. Pedestrians but only when they have the green walk signal. Answer A. Pedestrians, always. The lane in the middle of a two-way street is meant to be used for A. Overtaking other vehicles when there's no oncoming traffic. B. Making right turns when there's no oncoming traffic. C. Starting or finishing left turns, or initiating a permitted U-turn. Answer, C, starting or finishing left turns, or initiating a permitted U-turn. If you're driving in heavy fog, you should slow down, turn on your windshield wipers, and also your A, high beam lights. B, low beam lights. C, emergency flashers. Answer, B, low beam lights. This question came in January 2023 exam. Which of the following is true regarding the abandonment of animals on a highway? A. It is legal if the animal is not a pet. B. It is a crime punishable by a fine of up to $1,000, six months in jail, or both. C. It carries no penalty as long as the animal is not injured. Answer. B. It is a crime punishable by a fine of up to $1,000, six months in jail, or both. What could happen if an unlicensed person is caught driving your vehicle? A. The vehicle will be upgraded with the latest safety features. B. The vehicle may be impounded for 30 days. C. Imprisonment in a county jail for one year or less. Answer, B, the vehicle may be impounded for 30 days. 
When visibility is severely compromised due to heavy fog and your windshield wipers are ineffective, you should a. Slow down and continue driving. b. Switch on your high beams and continue driving. c. Pull over and stop completely until visibility improves. Answer, c. Pull over and stop completely until visibility improves. Who is responsible for understanding how your medication affects your ability to drive safely? A. Your pharmacist. B. Your physician. C. You. Answer. C. You. This is a tricky question. What is the best practice to give yourself time to react, avoid last-minute moves and hazards while driving? A. Always keep your head moving and scan the road at least 5 seconds ahead and behind your vehicle. B. Always keep your eyes moving and scan the road at least 10 seconds ahead of your vehicle. C. Any of the above. Answer. B. Always keep your eyes moving and scan the road at least 10 seconds ahead of your vehicle. To turn left from a multi-lane one-way street onto a one-way street, you should start your turn from a. Any lane, as long as it is safe. b. The lane closest to the left curb. c. The lane in the center of the road. Answer. b. The lane closest to the left curb.